Today in this session, we will understand the workflow of bank reconciliation in Odoo 16 and uh, let's dive into our accounting module and this will be my dashboard view and from here, I need to go into my configuration and from there in the banks, I'm going to add a bank account. Let me create it and I'm going with my Indian standard so my bank account number will be having a 14 digits as per my bank so let me enter my bank number first and I'm choosing my bank from my list that is my federal bank and here in, in inside this box inside this box you need to enter the bank name and the bank address details that will be the function from here if you're going inside this link okay and in the next step i'm putting my bank identify code here in the sense my bank identify code is my ifsc code so i'm dropping it again let me create it so I got my bank created and I need to make some more I need to make some more adjustments towards my easiness towards my bank flow so I'll show you how it needs to be done for that again you need to go into the configuration and from there jump into the accounting and in the journals click on the journals and you can see your bank over here the account number is being displayed the bank is being here okay so let's open it first and in the journal name i'm replacing the journal name by federal bank by federal bank and my bank account will be let me open it and my account name my bank account name is not my account number so i'm creating it again towards my the bank name and i'm going back okay and here inside this the account number you can see the account number over here the bank name with the ifrs code over here and my company name and i'm going back again and here the here it shows it it shows that how i'm going to how i'm going to import my forms that means i have bank statements to be uploaded towards my odo book so if i need it i can click over here or else i can go with undefined or else i can go with automatic synchronization okay and in the next line i'm going to edit my short code it should not be in bank one for my easiness i like it to be in this like federal bank the small short code for federal so i had used that in fdrl and i'm preferring my currency towards an inr okay these all things has been completed and i'm saving it up it's saved so let me go back towards my dashboard again and let me scroll down and you can see that my federal bank is updated over here in my journal box in my small boxes over here i can see my updated bank okay so let's move on further and uh, i'll also show you an example for a reconciliation model what is a reconciliation model and how it can be assessed so let me go into my configuration first and let me jump into my banks and in the reconciliation models you can see over here it helps me to reconcile my bank book with my odoo book it will it will it will it will help with my easiness so let me create and show you one thing here i'm going to generate one button called bank fees and in the bank fees you can see that the type is like button to generate a counterpart entry so if i'm opening my bank statement 
and if I'm creating one uh, bank statement bank entry line from my Odo book then I can see a counter entry counterpart button saying that bank fees over there and how the functionality is going to happen I'll show you for that you need to come down and draw a line over here you need to add a line and you need to add that particular bank fees account over here that will be bank charges bank charges and the percentage of balance will be matching and the full amount needs to be allocated so it's been completed and I'm saving it up so the purpose of this is that if I do have any bank charges in my bank statement I can create it from my creation button in my bank statement itself I don't want to go into any journal entry posting and it will it will ease my work and it will also reduce my workload also so I can enter it from there and I can click on that button and the button will do my journal postings okay we can we can see it how it's going to function in the coming video okay so I'm going to save it from here and let's go into the next step so we completed our uh, creation of the bank and we made some changes in the journals and we did go through a reconciliation model and the next step will be the the recording of invoices and its posting and its payment and from there it will be moved towards our bank and the process is explained for you so let's go back towards our customers and I'm going to my invoices I have drafted some invoices over here so I'm going to confirm it and I'm going to make the payments for the same so let me confirm the same so before that I mark my customer name my invoice date has been mentioned and the GST treatment has been preferred and the product has been assigned the account has been assigned the quantity the price the total okay so all the works has been completed over here and I'm going to confirm the same let me register the payment too here if I'm going into my journal then you can see that the journal happens with my federal bank itself and my bank account is being shown and my bank name is there that is my bank that's my bank and the amount is going so if I'm clicking over here I have an option for federal bank and cash so I have my bank as well as my cash also so I'm choosing my bank over here and I'm moving on let me create my payment so once I receive the payment and this will be the tag will be moved into in payment status and once the reconciliation happens it will be in paid okay so let's move towards the next one and I'm going to mark it also into confirmed and I'm registering the payment too it's completed okay so let me go towards my window I also drafted some invoices in my vendors and let me mark their payments too and confirming it up and I'm registering the payment for them so here also the journal is coming into action the federal bank means my bank where I'm going to make the payment towards my supplier the payment type is manual and here the recipient bank account means what is my supplier's bank account if I do have my supplier bank account details with me I can furnish it over here and I can save it okay let me take the another one and here I'm confirming it up and I'm registering the payment again done and green so let's go back towards our dashboard so we completed our fourth step we we received the payment from our customers and we made the payment towards our vendors so we have some transactions over in our order book and we need to match it with our bank too so let's go back towards our dashboard and let's scroll down you can see that I have some outstanding payments I have to see some outstanding payments and receipts over here I have done some okay so let me go into this three dots and let me go into my operations under my view tab 
and I'm going to create the journals that has been posted as per my bank line that means as per my bank statement so in this particular date I'm saying that before that let me duplicate one tab okay so here I have received one receipt Receipt. the label means my narration and I need to choose my partner and my partner is a grow farms wholesale and the amount should be 10500 the amount is 10500 and the currency is INR and let me do save and new currency is not needed so let me do save and new again I'm going to enter the next transaction over here in my label I'm going to mark it as receipt my partner is agro farms and I need to mark the amount that is 1 to 6 zero. amount as 1 to 6 zero. Market and save and new and again I need to jump towards my vendors and I need to know what all payments has been done for them so I'm going to mark it as payment and if my partner I need to choose my partner from there that's fresh and I need to know the amount that I've paid for them that is 9187 all being done and let me see and close okay it's all being done and the transactions has been registered and if I'm going back towards my accounting dashboard you can see that four items to be reconciled and if you're clicking on it you will be coming towards the same window okay you will be coming into the same window and I need to do one more example where I had done one uh, I have done I have shown one bank reconciliation model and let me create one example from here for that let me create one and in my label I'm saying that it's bank fees okay and let the amount be in okay and I'm putting save and close okay so I have some entries over here as per from our value uh, as per our reconciled item I came into the screen and here I'm going to validate my my payments so let's open one by one so I received the payment from agro farms you can see that what is happening over here the customer payment has been received okay and the details are shown over here in the label okay if needed I can also show you one example wait a minute with customer and let me go on to it you can see the payment matching that is 10,500 the PFDR triple zero okay fine let me go into it yeah you can see that that's over here okay and it's been it's been matching and we can validate it okay so the matching entries will be picked by Odo as per our bookings or as per what entries we are going to put enter into it. So that's all being matched and we are going to validate it. 
okay and the payment to verification let me see that yeah it's also been matched that's also been matched in full and let me validate it and this one is also my payment towards the same vendor so i'm going to validate it and this is my bank fees where i had drafted or i have created the entry directly in my bank statement and no entry has been posted in my codo books so the first thing is that i had earlier in my video i mentioned that i had a button i created a button for bank fees so if you're saying that if the federal bank is there and the bank fees are there the account is there the bank fees is there but in default odo has chosen me an account called bank suspense account and it's a new one for me because odo don't know what is happening in behind so i need to click on this bank fees and you can see that the entry has been posted okay if i'm not clicking over here then wait a minute if i'm not clicking over here means it will go back into my reverse form and i need to go into my manual operations and i need to i need to change the account from here i need to change the account from here if i'm not having that button over there then i need to choose that what relevant account should be matched towards here if it's in bank charges i need to choose the char uh, i need to choose the detail from here okay so here we have a button and we can go into it and we can click on that and it will show that okay it worked and now it's in bank charges i shown an example for you and how it needs to be done okay so let me validate this too and it's been completed and my bank balance is 13177 177.50 i'm going back towards my dashboard and you will see that nothing is there it's all completed okay fine and we can also see the view of my invoices and my bills as of now now it's moved into my paid status earlier it was in in payment status and it has moved into paid status and if i'm going towards my vendors also i can see the status in paid and earlier it was in in payment now it's been moved towards paid okay. and i have one more one more small advice for you if if you created a bank account and if you needed to add some opening balance towards that particular bank account if you have, if you created a bank account like federal bank and you have a, uh, if you have any opening balance to be entered just go into the chart of accounts over here okay and choose the federal bank from here and just enter the balance over here so the transaction will be affected okay i hope all those things has been passed towards you and it's clear and i hope my video helps you and if you need any further clarifications you can come back towards us we are from royal it solutions and we are happy to serve you thank you all good day for you